Hey guys, this is CJ McCullough coming back to you with the first video for 2020. Super excited for the new year. There's a lot of content that's going to be coming at you this year. I know uh, 2019 was filled with a lot of great videos and uh, a lot of great content creators all throughout the United States and all throughout the whole world. Uh, and I just wanted to send a shout out to everyone who's making videos this year in 2020. What a great year to be alive. If you saw the title in this video, you'll know that this is about the best backpack that I think is the best backpack for under $100. I know there's a lot of backpacks that you'll find out there. Peter McKinnon has a really great backpack that just came out. Uh, I think it's a little bit north of about 200 bucks or something. So uh, if you're definitely interested in the best material, best for uh, storage, for uh, taking a lot of gear with you, having a, there's a little special backpack inside of it, definitely check out Peter McKinnon's backpack that he just came out with uh, from Nomadic. It's a great uh, backpack, but for uh, the more budget-minded individuals like myself, uh, I really wanted to find a backpack that would suit my needs and that would fit all of my gear in there. As a wedding and portrait photographer, I have a lot of gear, cameras, lenses, uh, flashes, all kinds of different things. And I wanted to be able to find something that would fit all in the same backpack. Uh, so without further ado, we're gonna jump into the best backpack for under $100 right now. Let's get into it. So to give a little context, I just wanna say that uh, the first backpack that I ever got was uh, something that came in a little kit uh, bag that just happened to come with uh, my first camera. And there was with the tripod and the, all the different accessories that come with a, a starter kit camera. And uh, it was a really, it was a nice little camera bag and it had uh, a very limited camera storage and uh, there wasn't a lot of pockets. Me personally, I'm a person, I just love pockets and the shirt doesn't even have pockets, but I don't know what I'm saying. But <laughs> when I come for pants or for backpacks or for shorts or different things, uh, for different jackets and everything, I love pockets. I love having pockets on me and I love just being able to put things in different spaces and have everything be able to take up its own space. So that backpack that I had originally just wasn't enough storage. I could have a couple of different dividers and some different spaces, but it came pre-organized. I just didn't really like how little it allowed me to store in the actual backpack because I felt like I was cramming things in there and it just wasn't giving me the versatility and the space that I would really need for a wedding and portrait photography. So by the way, towards the end of this video, I will also be having a what's in my camera bag and show you exactly what is stored in my camera bag. But for right now, we're just gonna focus on the bag itself and let's bring it on up. So I just wanna say right off the bat, I'm not sponsored by this company, uh, but they are just a great company and I think that they make some really great backpacks. This is the Altura Great Explorer backpack. It is their top of the line backpack that they have. It is the largest in size and in width and they have a couple of different backpacks in their lineup. Uh, there are some smaller ones. I think there's a shoulder bag and uh, a couple of ones that were a little bit smaller than this one. This is the top of the line, like I said, and it fits the most things in it. And I really wanted to find something that I could fit all of my gear in and still have enough space for under hundred bucks. So let's see a little bit more about it. So first things first, this is a very durable and water repellent nylon material. Uh, it's very nice and it shows definitely how the, uh, the reinforced stitching here at the top uh, is able to hold it in really good in place. It's definitely not going anywhere. There's a padded handle at the top. So if you're carrying it uh, from the handle, you'll have a lot of uh, padding right here at the top. It's very cushioned and well damped. Uh, materials. Uh, if you look down here on the bottom, there's a nice little sturdy area where you can, if you want to sit it up, the bag will actually just sit there by itself. Um, anywhere you sit it, it'll just sit there by itself. And that's really helpful if you're uh, going somewhere on the go and you just want to put it down for a second, but it's not rolling all over. You know, sometimes when you just have something like that and then it just flops over, it just feels a little bit unprofessional. And this standing up just like it does 
and not falling over. It just gives me a little bit of extra peace of mind knowing that it's not gonna be falling over or uh, uh, breaking or anything like that. So this is really a great backpack. And also on the back here, it has some really nice deep cushions for your back so that you can uh, feel really comfortable. It's, uh, it's like an air wick kind of material so that it uh, wicks the sweat away from you, which is really, really neat. Uh, you see the black and purple. Uh, unfortunately, black and purple is the only color that it comes with. Um, I personally like it, but some of you may not. It's up to you. Um, but Altura, the whole company is definitely going with this black and lavender, black and purple kind of uh, color scheme. And uh, I think it works well for it. Up on the top here, it has the little purple accents. And back here on the shoulder straps, it has more of those purple accents on the, even on these uh, little uh, rear harness straps, straps, it has the purple harness. And it just kind of accents throughout the whole backpack. And uh, you'll see some more of that on the inside but it's definitely made of a really nice, sturdy quality material, more padding on the inside here as well. Um, I really like how sturdy it feels and how just good, tough it feels. I love that. And this is why I think that this is a great backpack, especially if you're ever finding yourself, uh, this is the great explorer as well. So if you find yourself hiking or uh, going out in the wilderness, having to uh, just take a lot of gear with you, it's definitely something to have a really good sturdy backpack and be able to trust that your gear is going to be safe, whether you're out in the water and the, uh, it's definitely not waterproof, but it's definitely water resistant. Um, and there's some actual cool little niceties that come along with the water resistance. If you take a look uh, as we dive into these next couple of pockets here, as we start off from the front pocket here, you zip that down with that nice purple accent again, and it's a nice quality zipper. If you stick, if you look inside here, there's a nice deep little pocket right here in the front. Once again, I love those pockets. And it just fits a lot of nice stuff in here. Uh, you can put some different accessories up front here, just some things that you may need on the go if you wanna uh, put a passport or anything like that. Uh, this bag is TSA compatible, so uh, you will have no problems with this bag on your airplane. Uh, and also, the actual exterior dimensions are 12.5 inches long by 8.5 inches wide by 18.5 inches high and that's what really makes this a really large backpack uh, for you to put a lot of stuff on in it but also on the inside specifically in the camera and lens department there is an extra 12.5 inches in width 17 inches in height and 5.5 inches in depth okay so let's get to the other pockets. So from here on the top, we've got this nice deep pocket, which has a lot of storage down here at the bottom as well. So you can fit all kinds of different things down here. You have uh, a couple of pen holders where you can put a pen or two, uh, a nice little pocket up here, and another one that's strapped in right here. You can keep you know, business cards or uh, anything that you would like, any, uh, anything that you can fit in these pockets. Very nice, very well damped, and it's very nice cushion material up here as, as well. So if something is in here that's important as well, it falls down, that's glass. That's why I made a big sound. But uh, if it ever falls down, there's a lot of nice cushion right in here to comfort that fall. So also, we also have this nice little strap down pocket where you can fit a tablet inside or anything else that you wanna put in here, different accessories as well. Um, definitely about a tablet size, not a full computer size. Um, this is my 13 inch MacBook and we definitely can't fit that quite in there. So definitely if you have a, a, an 11 inch uh, computer, it'll definitely fit a little bit better in there, but um, anything smaller than one of those more compact computers or an iPad will definitely fit in this nice compartment right here. But also in addition to this, we also have this nice little nicety that comes with it. It's, a, it's completely attached to the bag and it comes as a little rain pouch actually. Let's open this up. 
never actually used this myself before, but uh, let's open this up. And if you take this out, you've got this nice little Altura rain pouch that you can put over the top of your bag. Let's put it on for a second. There you go right there. You've got a nice little rain pouch that you can put on there while you're on the go. If you just wanna keep, an, uh, if it starts a downpour, you know, this is this bag is not waterproof, but this nice little rain pouch will keep it nice and dry and keep everything uh, nice and watertight as well. So definitely a nicety to have, and we'll keep that back in the front there. Just like that. Very nice, very comfortable fits right inside very nice and easy. And now let's move on to the back of the backpack. So if we turn it around here, you notice that even from the sides, you can see that there's no other openings or anything here. So this is all your storage for the inside. Um, and before we get to the back, actually, let's take a look at the side pocket that we have here. If you undo that there, You've got a nice little side pocket here where it also has some mesh in between and some mesh on the sides to give you a little bit of extra elastic on the sides. Um, you have a nice little pocket here. Just I only put some like little accessories in here, flash drives or uh, other things that are just kind of small and uh, have like a little mini tripod that I put in here as well. Um, and on the other side is a nice little mesh spot where you can put a, a water bottle or anything a nice good little size right in here. I actually use this for batteries. Uh, I'll just put my loose batteries in here and keep the extra ones that I, I'm not using at the moment so that I can just take it out real quick and easy. And I really like that feature. So if we take a look now to the back where you'll be doing most of your work actually, um, you have, as we said, very nice reinforced padding back here. Uh, your D-rings right here if you want to hold or hook anything on these very helpful right here and you also have these different hooks right here you can strap this together and you can pull that tight so that you can keep that nice and secure on your body but in addition to that you also have the normal straps that come on a backpack where you can just kind of push pull these down and secure it to your body but then you also have a, a waist strap where you can grab these here together and put this around your waist so that you can be very secure as you're walking through the wilderness or just giving you a little bit of extra support. So let's jump into the back here. Uh, Altura was really smart and they put their zippers here on the back so that uh, no one can access or accidentally come in and try to steal anything from the front. You definitely, to get all of the important things, you gotta come in through the back here. So uh, if you take these zippers down on either side, you have a nice deep storage space right here. And what's really interesting is this nice little mesh padding you've got right here that actually protects all your gear from falling out so that, you know, it just keeps it all nice and secure with these zippers right here. We've got the laptop pouch right here on the bottom. Uh, can definitely fit that 13 inch MacBook Pro down here or any 13 inch uh, computer, even up to about a 14 inch computer can fit in here, but uh, you're definitely not gonna get those 15, 16s or 17s, those large computers in here. So uh, do be aware of that, of course. Um, my laptop is a 13 inch MacBook uh, and it's the MacBook Pro and you can definitely fit that in there with no problem at all. Secures nice and easy. So there's a definitely a little bit of, just a little bit of space in here, maybe for a 14 inch, maybe a 15. Uh, I don't have the direct uh, dimension for it, but uh, I know that uh, we measured this earlier and this distance right across here is about nine inches. So uh, if your MacBook or your laptop is nine inches or smaller this direction in width, then uh, you can definitely try to fit it into this space right here. So just be aware of that. We'll take that out. All right, so now on to the fun stuff. Flip that back around here. So here, if you 
pull these zippers down and move the mesh out of the way. You've got a nice deep storage space right here. Uh, this is where I put my camera and I have a lens attached to the camera at all times. Altura says that you can fit up to two cameras, four to six lenses, and even one to two flashes in here. Uh, and you can move things around. Some people put, uh, if you bar this up on the top, you can put a drone up here, uh, put their cameras and all kinds of different lenses in here. Um, I have a holy trinity of lenses that I fit in here, uh, 15 to 30, 24 to 70, 70 to 200, uh, and even a couple of flashes, a camera, uh, all kinds of different things, lights and uh, different modifiers and different things like that I put in here. Um, and also in the, in the front, there's a lot of space in here as well. Um, the, each one of these pockets have these little inserts, just like this right here, is little outdoor branded padded packaging uh, rows where you can fit this right here on the inside. If you wanna make a new uh, place to put something, you can put something off here or down. There's Velcro on the inside so that you can take these little packaging spaces and make a new space and it definitely fits a lot in there. Um, you also have these nice little straps that completely come off right here and you can fit these right along these different straps in different areas and you can put that one down here and one down here and keep something in secure, just a little bit of extra security. I really like that about Altera. You can organize this in any way that you like. Uh, I really like the design and how sturdy everything is, how padded everything is, and how good the zippers actually work. You know, sometimes you have different companies and the zippers just don't zip perfectly every time, but this is a really good design. I really like everything that I've had here. And I've had this backpack for a little over a year now, and I'm really enjoying it so far. So now let's zip it all the way up and let's try it on so that we can see how it looks. So as you'll see right here, it's very easy to put on. Fits on you very nice and easy and you can adjust your straps right in here so that it fits you in the, around the waist and on the chest, pull both of those nice and tight. Definitely like that it's adjustable for all sizes, uh, no matter how big or small. Fits nice and easy and you have the drawstrings right here so you can pull those tight and get those in just for you and your fit. And you also have here at the top, straps that you can pull forward. And that pulls it forward closer to your body so that it sits nice and upright and just gives you a nice comfortable feel. Uh, if you don't want to have the straps on, you don't have to. Sometimes I carry them on, sometimes I don't. Uh, depends on how much I have in my bag at the time and it just gives me a little bit of extra support. So I definitely like having it on and something that I actually do from time to time, not all the time, uh, I actually like that since it has this strap down here on the bottom, uh, it actually keeps everything really secure. But also, if I want to take this off for a second, I can take this off, be completely hands-free, and swap this around. If you have it loose enough, you should be able to kind of swap this around like this, come in here, grab what you need. Say my, my camera I normally keep right here at the top with the lens on it. I can take this out or if I already have a camera on, I can take another lens out, do a quick swap up and have re everything nice and secure to me so that I can just keep everything on me. Zip that back on up, slide this back around and look at that. And just secure that back down to you and look at that. Nice way to keep everything on you, especially if you're out hiking or doing something where it requires a lot of uh, motion or you know you need both your hands 
Uh, definitely be able to have this strap is really convenient if you're out hiking and you just don't want to put everything down on the ground. It could be wet or anything like that. So I definitely like having this, having these features. It's honestly very comfortable. I really like having uh, all this padding. It's it's so much that uh, you know it, you'll never get any types of soreness or. And I really like how it makes you feel. One additional thing that you might be looking for with this backpack is to have the ability to strap a tripod and I know you may not want to stick it in your cup holder spot or uh, over here on the side but actually if you take a look down here on the side uh, if you open up this little compartment down here at the bottom you actually have a nice little space where you can take a tripod you can take the two legs of the tripod or even a monopod stick it right down here on the side there's a nice little strap right over here that'll keep it nice and secure and pull that out and around and look at that you got a nice place you're on the go you've got a tripod on your backpack keeps it nice and secure and it really is a great feature to have Currently, at this time of the recording, I'm able to find this backpack for about $79.99 on Amazon or Walmart or just online. Uh, Digital Gojo also has it as well. You can check out Digital Gojo's channel as well to see another review of this backpack as well. Um, it comes back from Digital Gojo from uh, a 90 day warranty, 100% uh, satisfaction guaranteed, and uh, you can definitely check it out. It's really definitely worth buying or checking out or just using for a little while. Check it out for yourself, see how you like it. Uh, and definitely, if you're interested in the rest of the video uh, to see what's in my camera bag and how I pack everything in here, definitely stay tuned for the next portion of the video as we jump into that right now. So as I mentioned, I really wanted a backpack that would fit all of the things that I have in this backpack and even have a little bit of storage left. And this backpack has really over exceeded my expectations. Um, I don't even have uh, enough stuff to fit in this at the moment, but uh, I will definitely be using it uh, throughout 2020 and uh, be able to fit a lot more gear in here. So right here on the front, uh, in that front pocket, all I have in this is just a couple of small things. This is just my Nikon F-mount front cap that I keep on my Nikon D750. Um, and I just keep that right in here. Uh, most of the time, I don't have my cap on my camera. I keep a lens on the camera at all times, most of the time. So uh, I just keep this in here just in case if I just wanna uh, make anything any smaller or have any uh, different organization inside of the bag. Um, also, uh, I keep uh, this little guy right here, which I don't really even that use that much, but I figure if I ever need it, uh, I'll definitely have it. It just fits right on top of the flash and uh, you're able to create some different lighting with this and uh, I just keep this right here in the front just in case I ever need it. And something else I use, uh, I don't have a, a fancy memory card holder, so uh, what I have is actually what came in the original kit as well. It's uh, an Ultimax. Uh, memory card holder has three little memory card spots uh, two of my memory cards one of them is actually my laptop at the moment and I've got a couple of other ones in here I put probably about six or six to nine in here um, just three and three and three um, it's really all I need I can fit this nice and easy and there's still plenty of space up here but that's all I really put up here if we turn it to the side here uh, as I mentioned before uh, I keep a few batteries, I have uh, three Nikon batteries that I keep in here, just keeps it nice. And uh, this this nice little drawstring right in here, or not drawstring, but uh, it keeps it nice and tight and doesn't let anything fall out. So if it turns over, nothing's falling out. And I keep these batteries in here just because it's something that, you know, I'll use probably 10% out of the day. But uh, when I actually I do need a battery, it's easy to pull one out real quick and easy like that. And I can still fit a water bottle on top here if I'm just gonna bring it with me or something, I can still fit it in there and still have a nice, a lot of space in here. Uh, I've got three batteries in here. I could probably put 10 in here if I need it, if I really needed to and pack this up tight. All right, so on this opposite side, in this smaller little zip up pocket, 
I actually keep a couple of things here. These uh, hanging strips that uh, you can put on along the wall and then uh, hang something up. You have these little hooks and you can keep that uh, in here as well. I usually use those hooks if I can't find anywhere in a place where uh, I'm looking to put a wedding dress up and I'm trying to hang it up high. Um, I use those little 3M hooks and try to find a good place so that I don't have to worry about ripping off any of the paint off of anyone's walls or um, damaging anything like that. So I'll keep these in this pocket as well as my little battery bank. Definitely love having this on me. Uh, gives me at least another full charge, if not a charge and a half for my uh, iPhone 11 Pro Max. Uh, so definitely like having this on me. Uh, it'll keep everything very nice and uh, charged up whenever I need it. Uh, in addition to that, I carry this little uh, travel tripod that really is mostly just good for your phone uh, if you want to put it on something. Uh, very nice little thing to have with you, but uh, I only use it really just for my phone and I'll keep that right here in this small little pocket here. In addition to those three items, I also have this little uh, chain that I use right here. Sometimes I can uh, you can hook this on to yourself. It's a little bracelet um, that if you put it all the way on, it's a nice little ball bracelet where it can be a fashion statement, but also it can charge your phone. And it actually has a nice little lightning port right here. And you stick this on the other side where you would normally plug into the wall on the little cube. And uh, this is really handy. Uh, I keep this with me sometimes if I just don't have any charger or if I just want to plug it into that battery bank as well. Uh, it's really nice, small, and compact. And I really enjoy having it uh, definitely if I'm going on a long trip or something and I just want to save some space, I use that all the time. And the last thing that I keep in this pocket is just something, uh, there's also something that also came. You see, I keep a lot of things from those uh, original bundle packs. Uh, but on one side or the other, you're able to fit an SD card in, uh, or a micro SD card in one side and your USB on the other side. So if you don't have a slot for your micro SD card or for your SD card in your laptop, you can just fit this right in there. And that just goes in there very nice and easy. Not a lot of stuff in here. Like I said, there's plenty of storage and there's a lot of space for me to put more things in here if I really need to. Let's move on to the middle inner pocket. So inside that middle inner pocket, like I said before, uh, there's a lot of great space in here. Um, definitely to fit your pens in here. You've got two spots right over here for fit a pen perfectly. Uh, I don't really have another pen to fit in there right now, but I just have this one here. Um, business cards, definitely something that you're gonna wanna keep a stack of. Uh, I've got my business cards here, and uh, I definitely like to keep those nice and secure in this one pocket. Uh, it gives it nice security, let it know that it's not going anywhere as well, so that if it ever flips over or anything, it's nice and secure there. Uh, you can fit a whole bunch of other things in here. I don't even have that many things in here that I fit all the time. Um, here, I actually don't have a actual battery case, but what I do do is I have these rechargeable batteries, uh, the equivalent of the antelope batteries. They're uh, uh, the knockoff version, I guess. They're called LADDA LADA 2450 rechargeable batteries. I got these rechargeable batteries from Ikea and I cannot highly recommend these enough. These batteries last so, 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 so long. And I really enjoy these, the performance out of them. Uh, some of them right now are upstairs, they're just on the charger. Um, so I definitely like having these batteries with me at all times. Uh, and I figured why not get the full use out of this AA case that I bought before. This I actually put right up here where a tablet will go. Um, and it fits really nice and easy because you know, it's pretty small, but you can fit that down there. You can put anything else down there as well. Um, and also, I like to keep a couple of snacks right down here as well. Got a lot of snacks. Keep these all down in here, just in case if I ever want to, if I ever get hungry, or if I ever just want something to snack on for a little bit, I'll keep those down there. There's a whole lot of other things that I can fit in here. Um, also, sometimes may fit my, uh, my MagMod bounce and my MagMod uh, sphere inside of here, just as some extra things. 
um, just like that and it just closes very nice and easy if you want to flip around to the back this is where all the magic happens we'll just come up here look at a different angle here uh, so I'm just gonna hold the camera here in my hand as we unbox the inside kept this open for you so this is what I'm able to fit in my bag currently. Uh, I've got my Nikon D750 right here with the Tamron 24 to 70 2.8 G2 lens. Fits in there very nice and has a lot of extra space in here here in the front and in the back. Uh, some people put in, you know, if you put in another camera, or if you strap off this side, you can put a drone up here. There's a whole lot of space for you. Um, Right here is my uh, 15 to 30 Tamron lens, 2.8 right here. Great lens. Has nice, a lot of space right in there for you. Um, I also have my Godox TT685N uh, flashes in here. I've got two of them, you see, and I can fit them fully in like this, or you can turn them sideways and fit them in this way as well. I just chose to put them in this way and they fit just nicely. Uh, here on the back, I have my Tamron 70 to 200 2.8 lens and I uh, really enjoy this lens. Definitely something we'll talk about in another video soon. Here in this little pocket, I've just got my, uh, so the, the flash mount that uh, comes on the fuser on top of the flash that comes with uh, most flashes. Um, also in here, I've got my transmitter for my Godox, the X1T transmitter uh, for my uh, flashes. And I'll trigger those off-camera off flashes with this. And I also have just a couple of these little uh, trigger or these uh, little stands where you normally would put uh, your flashes in if you want to put them off camera somewhere and you just have an odd or ordered unordered or an orthodox place to put them. Back here in this last section, uh, I also have the Fry or Tri Lens uh, set up where it kind of spins around on your hip. Uh, I really like this and it hooks into this other. See if I can get this out for you. This here, this right here hooks onto your belt. You put your belt right through there, through those holes. And then uh, this sits, hold on one second. And this will sit right in here like this on your belt. And then you can have three different lenses on there at the same time. And I really like that feature. It's definitely something I use a lot in weddings. So definitely check them out. Uh, for tri lens, it's definitely a great thing to use if you uh, want to have multiple lenses on at the same time. So you definitely could fit uh, if you say if you don't have the 70 to 200 here or even the 15 to 30. The way that the 15 to 30 is set up, you could fit you know probably another two lenses back here in this section. You could fit another two lenses here if you've got just prime lenses. Um, then you could fit a whole bunch of stuff in this bag and there's still a bunch of different configurations that you can do if you just move these in here these insides and uh, definitely customize to however you want it to be however you want it to look this comes back up like this and then we also have where you can fit your MacBook in there as well or any uh, laptop 13 inch uh, even up to about 14 inches at the max but I definitely Love this bag and I definitely can fit a whole bunch of stuff in here and have even more space for things that uh, I don't even know about just yet. So guys, that is all I have for you today in this video. I hope you really liked the video. If you did like the video, please leave a like book down below. If you wanna see more videos just like this one or about uh, wedding photography, portrait photography and different on location behind the scenes, uh, definitely give me a subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can be notified when I upload my next video. Um, check out the Altura Great Explorer if you're interested in the best backpack under $100. Uh, comment down below what you have if you have another backpack under $100 that uh, you think may compare to this bag. Uh, if you do, definitely link uh, a link down below and we'll 
kind of discuss those in the comments, see which ones you think are the best. Um, I definitely think that this is a very good option for anyone who is uh, definitely looking for something that they can fit a whole bunch of stuff in for under $100 and definitely have plenty of storage. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.